So you built a new gaming PC, or maybe you upgraded your gaming PC, and now you have a mountain of used parts laying around, and you have no idea what you should do with them. Don't worry, we've all been there, and I'm here to help. What's up everybody, welcome to the RA Visuals YouTube channel where you'll always find high quality visuals and high quality tech. And today I'm going to share with you my top tips for selling your used gaming PC parts online so you can get some of that hard earned money back and possibly store away a little bit of cash for that future upgrade or so maybe you can take your girlfriend out for a nice seafood dinner. So let's hear a quick word for our sponsor and we'll get right into it. Are you tired of that annoying Windows activation watermark on your desktop? VIP URCD key has you covered with fully licensed codes to activate your favorite games and software. Purchasing your key is super easy. All you have to do is click on the item that you want, click buy to add it to your cart. Once in your cart, you can now enter my promo code RAV20. After adding the promo code, you'll see your savings pop up and you can then purchase your product with your chosen payment method. Finding and entering your Windows 10 CD key is super easy. All you have to do is go over to your user profile, find your purchase and click view keys and codes to reveal your new CD key. Then all you have to do is go to settings and windows, click on update and security, click on activation, and finally click on change product key and paste your new key into the window and click next. You'll now have a fully licensed version of Windows 10 with no watermark. Check the links in the description to start saving now. Okay, let's dive straight into how I go about selling my used PC parts, and just maybe you'll pick something up that'll help you out with your own listings. But before I do this, real quick, this is the fun part where I ask you that if at any point during this video, you take away a bit of knowledge or something you didn't know before, go ahead and hit that like button for me and leave me a comment down below letting me know what helped you out and what you learned. All right, the first thing I always do with my used parts is simply start pulling everything apart because a lot of the time I have various parts from a bill just sitting around that need to be separated and organized. I organize each of the parts and then grab their original boxes if possible and get them all together. And doing this will help you figure out exactly what you have to sell and will help you find all the parts and accessories that came with it originally. This will save you a bunch of time when you start listing your items because you'll know exactly what you have and if everything there is included. The next step after getting everything organized is a huge one. It is cleaning your used parts before you sell them. I know some of you may not agree with this and may not wanna do it or take the time or think it's a waste of time totally, but let me change your mind really quick from my experience. I can tell you that a potential buyer will first of all, pick your listing over someone else's simply because it looks clean in the photos and newer and they will also be less likely to haggle you on price because they think your item looks dirty or grungy or old or something like that. Think of it this way, the less time they have to do cleaning it when they get the item from you, the more likely they'll pay your asking price, if it's fair of course, and then we'll go ahead and dive into pricing and everything later on, so don't worry about that either. Cleaning parts can differ depending on what component you're selling, but some general ideas are to first and foremost, clean the dust off everything. PCs are dust magnets and they look so much better in pictures and actually function better when the dust is cleaned off of them. Second, things like CPU coolers or even CPUs themselves will usually have old thermal material stuck on them, so simply cleaning it off yourself before your sale will make your item look much more appealing to a potential buyer. Now since we're talking about appealing things, let's talk about taking some appealing photos. So once you get everything clean and organized, the next thing to do is start taking photos of the items that you want to sell. This can be as simple or as complicated as you want to make it. I personally err on the side of taking quality shots with good lighting that show the details of what you want the buyer to see on the item. And guys, you don't need a professional camera or anything like this. I'll show you in this video, I'm just taking them with my cell phone, but you just need a little bit of good lighting to get the right shot. And don't do what some people do and just take one photo and call it good. Take at least a couple of photos that show multiple angles and give the buyer a good idea of what they'll actually be getting. So you can accomplish this, like I said, with just a single light source or even a light just coming through a window because it provides great soft light through a window, guys. Um, so if you don't have any running lights like maybe I do here in my studio, you guys are totally fine by doing that. Also, just my opinion here, please don't ever take photos of PC parts on the floor or on the carpet. Uh, carpets produce static electricity and even with how advanced new PC parts have gotten with protection from static electricity, one little shock can cause your parts to no longer function. So just don't do it and no one wants to see 
PC parts on a floor, okay? Just don't do that. So after taking photos of your item, you can then begin creating your post on wherever it is you wanna post it. Again, this should be very self-explanatory, but there are a few things to make sure you include. First, make sure the entire item being sold is mentioned and explained, or even clearly in the title. If there are accessories, make sure the buyer knows they are included or not included if you happen to lose something. Also, if your parts have any small cosmetic issues or if certain things don't function 100%, be sure to list that in the post. That way you can save yourself from somebody either backing out or coming back to you later on and saying something broke and they want their money back. Just don't even do that. And of course, be sure to add all of those awesome photos that you took of your item like we just talked about so the buyer gets a clear view of what they'll be getting from multiple angles. Now for the part that probably every one of you are coming to this video to ask me about. I get asked about this all the time. And if you watch this far and you like what you've heard so far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me so I can keep creating cool content like this for you guys. All right, how exactly do you put a price on your used parts that you wanna sell? I get asked this all the time. Well, obviously this will vary depending on the item, its condition, original value, and what it's currently selling for on the used market. A key indicator of used PC part pricers is good old eBay. I personally always check eBay first and see what my item is listed for in used condition, if the item is used that is. Then I check the marketplace that I'm planning on listing the item to and see if anybody else also has the same item listed. And from there, it's really up to you if you wanna come in lower with your price and or go ahead and match everyone else and selling a particular item for. Of course, you know, if no one has actually listed that particular item you have for sale, then you can really just start your pricing wherever you're comfortable with or try to get whatever you want out of it. But guys, that's really gonna do it for this one. Hopefully this gives you some idea of how I personally go about selling my used PC hardware and with some luck and attention to detail and a little bit of patience and proper communication with people you're selling to, you can use these techniques to your advantage and start flipping your used hardware as well. Anyway, that's gonna go ahead and do it for me in this one. You guys stay awesome and I'll be back with more tech content very soon.